I'm Anil Kumar. Let me first thank my subscribers for posting excellent questions. And this one is the most popular question posted on compound angle formulas. The question here is, show that sine 20 degrees, sine 40 degrees, sine 60 degrees times sine 80 degrees equals to 3 over 16. So I'm going to use few formulas to prove it. Let me share those formulas first with you. Uh, first one should be product of sines. So when we have sine A, sine B, we have a formula relating them. Twice of this is basically equal to cos of A minus B minus cos of A plus B, right? So that is one of the formulas which will be used. Uh, another thing which we are going to use is the fact about this special triangle cos 60 degrees. So uh, if this is 60 degrees, that is 90 degrees. The sides are 1, 2 and square root 3 and that gives me the value of sine 60 degrees as equal to opposite side square root 3 divided by hypotenuse 2. Correct? So let's begin from here. The question is sine 20 degrees times cos of 40 degrees times sine of 60 degrees times sine of 80 degrees correct that is my left side so let's begin with left side so uh, first step which I'm going to do here is write since I want to use this formula write this part as half times 2 half times twice sine of 20 degrees cos of 40 degrees sine 60 degrees I'll write as square root 3 over 2 perfect just substitute the value and we have sine of 80 degrees correct now in the next step I'll multiply these two and write it as let me write as square root 3 over 4 and I will substitute the formula here this formula correct so as difference of this so I'll write here 2 sine 20 cos 40 degrees I'm, I'm sorry I wrote cos this is sine 2 sine 20 degrees sine 40 degrees as cos of a minus b which is 20 minus 40 degrees minus cos of 20 plus 40 degrees okay so this is that part we have taken care of this and we are left with sine of 80 degrees perfect uh, now we are going to get a negative term here which is minus 20 I hope you remember that cos of minus theta is actually equals to cos theta right since cos is an even function even function correct so let's continue so we have square root of 3 over 4 in this case we have cos of minus 20 degrees minus cos of uh, 60 degrees and we have sine of 80 degrees so that gives us square root 3 over 4 cos of minus 20 I could write this as cos 20 degrees as explained here minus cos of 60 degrees so cos 60 is half so let me write this as half half and we'll write sine of 80 degrees doesn't make sense to you perfect now let's open the bracket so if I open the bracket I get square root 3 over 4 cos 20 and sine 80 degrees and this side we get minus square root 3 over over 4 times 2 is 8 sine of 80 degrees does make sense so so that's what we get uh, <laughs> It was better to keep this outside, I think so. Um, anyway, now 
what we will do here is this is cos a sin b so for cos a sin b we'll apply another formula which is uh, so when you have cos a sin b uh, let me write down the formula here so cos a sin b when it is twice cos a sin b in that case it could be written as sin a plus b minus sin a minus b correct so these are standard formulas which we are going to use since it is twice i should write this as as let me do one thing let me take 3 over square root 3 over 8 common that will solve many things right so if i do that i get here twice cos 20 degrees sine 80 degrees right and here i get minus sine 80 degrees that will help me correct now i'll apply this formula here you see how i'm moving correct slowly uh, but surely towards the right direction correct so i'm using this formula so what we have here is square root 3 over 8 and twice cos 20 sine 20 80 could be written as sine a plus b that means 20 plus 80 right 20 plus 80 degrees minus sine 20 minus 80 degrees minus we have sine 80 degrees okay so that gives us square root 3 over 8 and that's a sine of 60 degrees I mean 20 plus 80 is uh, 100 degrees okay 100 degrees minus I mean sine of minus 60 degrees minus 60 degrees and we have minus sine of 80 degrees correct okay now how could you write 100 degrees with 80 degrees 180 minus 80 does it make sense to you yes it does so we'll replace 100 with with sine of 180 minus 80 degrees correct that is 100 degrees minus sine 60 becomes negative so i could write this as positive sine 60 degrees correct and we have minus sine 80 degrees correct so sine is an odd function so let me write down here sine is an odd function so what i did was sine of minus theta equals to minus sine theta odd function is it okay perfect let's continue now we have square root 3 over 8 sine 180 minus 80 is what now that is you are in second quadrant right so you are in second quadrant so we're here so it's positive so it is sine of 80 degrees now we have plus sine 60 i could substitute the value square root 3 over 2 right and we have minus sine 80 degrees perfect sine 80 minus sine 80 is 0 so we are left with square root 3 over 8 and when you open the bracket times square root 3 over 2 right since you can see that these two cancel off is it okay so that gives you 3 over 16 which is the right side does it make sense to you so go through this video once again try to understand how we have used different combination of sum and product formula the compound angle formula to prove the result this is one of the most important question on this topic and i hope uh, this simple solution helps you to understand the concept thanks for watching and feel free to post your suggestions all the best